Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Welcome to our second maths lesson of the week, lesson two. Now, we're going to be carrying on today with the same sort of work that we were doing yesterday. So we're going to be finding the missing number or symbol in addition or subtraction calculation to 20. So there is a slight change that we might look at some symbols as well. But we're still thinking about adding and subtraction and there's missing numbers involved. Let's have another look. So today we're going to be using our number knowledge, number bond knowledge and calculation knowledge. Different ways that we can add and subtract to help us solve problems. So here are the posters, similar to the ones I made in class, that we always talk about when we do addition or subtraction. So when we're adding, we're putting groups together. We could use counters in a 10 frame, could draw pictures, use counters, use your brain to count forwards, use a number line, and you can use place value to add, thinking about tens and ones. Now, when we're thinking about subtraction, we could use our fingers, do that for adding as well. We could do drawings and cross them out. We could do the inverse, turn it into the plus, if we understand that better. We looked at inverse yesterday. We could count on or count back with a number, number right line. We could make a number bond. Do we know any number bonds that match this? And we can, of course, count in our head, just like we count with addition. It's so counting forwards, counting backwards, using mental methods. So today we're going to have a look at some more missing number calculations. Now, this time we're not looking at number bonds to 10 or 20. The answers, as you can see, are all different. So here we've got 11 plus something equals 20. Now, I could use my fingers to count on, oh, too far, from 11 and get to 20. I could use my number line, start at 11, move to 20. I could do lots of different methods. I could draw, I could get counters or pennies or pasta at home. That is entirely up to you. As I keep saying, we all learn in different ways. So it's up to you the way that you learn best. There's no right or wrong method. It's only the answer we want. So it's up to you how you work today. So I'm going to show you on a number line because I showed you lots of counting on yesterday. Remember, 11 in your head, keep counting until you get to 20. I'm going to show you on a number line. So here's number 11, and I have to count the jumps until I get to 20. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 11 plus 9 must equal 20. No, oh, do you stop that? So I'd move my 9 over here. Now, this one, I don't know where I'm starting. It's a plus, it's addition. So I could start at 1 and count on. Good night, it's a long way. I could put numbers in my head, but I haven't, don't think I've got enough fingers to get up that far. I might try the inverse. So when we're doing the addition, if I move this over here, I need to take it away. So 14 subtract 1 is 13. So the answer would be 13. Okay, I'm going to just escape this a minute. So I'm going to move my answer number 9. And now number 13. Right, now I've got 2 and I need to get to 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5. So that's three different methods I've used already. Now, what other method could I use? I could use some counters, count those out. So I've got a number here, plus six. What number plus six equals 17? Now, I'm not too sure. I can start at six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I've run out of fingers. I'm gonna use the inverse again. I'm gonna move this over to the side. It's got to take away this time, 17. One, two, three, four, five, six. My answer is 11. So there we go. There's one of my pages done. Now this time, I've got my subtractions. So this time I'm taking away. My answers are smaller than when I started. But I've got some dogs in the way. 
12 take away something equals 7. Now, with this, we could use the counting on method. If I start at 7, I can count upwards to 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it could be that the answer is number 5, because I've counted on. Or I could use the number line and count backwards. Let's try that for the next one. 15 take away 6. So 15, I'm jumping backwards 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What number am I on? That's right, number 9. Oh, why haven't you moved number nine? So there's my number nine. This time I've got 18 take away 13. I might try counting backwards in my head. So I've got 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Because you always have to think when you're counting backwards. So I've got number five again. And now I've got 17 take away something equals 11. Now I might do this time 17 take away 11, and that will make this answer here. 17. Oh, I could use my place value. If I take away, I've got 110 and 110. Get rid of those tens. I've now got 7 and 1. So if I take 1 away from my 7, I know the answer will be 6. There's lots of different ways that we can solve addition and subtraction, missing number problems. So today, you're going to have two parts to do. So activity one, you can choose a level. You only have to do one. You choose green or you choose orange. If you want green, click on the picture. Next slide. If you want orange, click on the picture. Click slide 11 and it will take you straight there. Let's have a little look. Next. So nice and spicy. Now, in here, you've got number frames to help you. So three and what make 20? So if you want to, you can count these up. Or you could use counting on. You could use a number line. I'll put the number line up here for you. Choose any of those methods that we've spoken about today. All the answers are over here that you can move them in. But you've also got subtraction, so you need to look carefully because this one's a takeaway. So that's the first part of level one. And then the second part, oh, no. The symbols are missing, plus and minus. 11 something seven equals 18. Whatever could that be? Let's think. So when I add, my answers get bigger. When I subtract, my answers must be smaller than what I started. Let's use those clues to help us. So, I've got 11 and something equal 18. Now, this is the bigger number, so this one must be a plus. 11 plus 7, and I can do it. 11 plus 7, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yes. Now, this one, I've got 13 something 6 equals 7. Now, the answer is smaller than what I start with, so it must be... A subtraction. So that is level one. Or if you want to, you can just practice some missing number sentences. We've got subtractions and plus. And these are in different orders, different places. Doesn't matter, we can still use our methods to help us. Then your second activity today, so you only have to do one of those, one of these slides. Now, the second activity is in your Busy Ants book, 1C. Now, if you don't have a Busy Ants book, you might want to do just the slider activities. Or, I've made it for you. So, in your book, you've got some missing answers. Just some adding and subtraction, and you've got a number line up here to help you. Here are your numbers that you can drag into the correct places. So, today, we're going to be practicing our skills that we learned yesterday, practicing adding and subtraction and practicing our missing numbers and symbols because our aim at the end of the day is to be able to find the missing number or symbol in addition or subtraction calculations to 20. So off you go and have a lovely time practicing. Bye.